This is a coax cable with an F-type connector. If you ever had to set up a classic television, you know how annoying it is to install. But today we are living in the age of technology and new inventions. Surely we have come up with an easier method. Nah. F-type cables are still the only way to get satellite signals into your box. But why unlike everything else, haven't we made a simpler solution? I mean, can't we just use a USB like everything else? Well, during the 60s, TVs were rapidly becoming very popular in houses. Facing high demand, companies had a difficult technical issue. How could you broadcast high frequency TV signals from an antenna into millions of homes? It needed to be cheap for mass production, efficient with minimal signal loss over distance, resistant to electromagnetic interference, and it had to maintain good signal quality. An American engineer Eric Winston had the perfect solution. Eric came up with the F-type connector. This seemingly normal cable had a brilliant design. The copper wire conductor at the very center of the cable, the one actually carrying the signal, is also the connector pin itself, eliminating the need for any additional components. To install an F-type connector, you have to first strip the end of the cable carefully. You need about a centimeter of the white plastic showing, with the copper conductor sticking out about half a centimeter. If you made it here, the hard part is is done. Now just grab your F-type connector, slide it over the cable and push. After that screw it into your box and you should be able to watch TV. In the 60s this process might have been child's play, but today in the age of plug and play, many people find it annoyingly difficult to figure out. So why hasn't any company replaced it with let's say USB cable? Well, we're talking about high frequency signals in the range of hundreds of megahertz traveling down the cable. not just digital data like USB handles. These TV and satellite signals need very specific electrical properties to travel without degrading. Notice that braided metal shield and foil under the cable's plastic jacket. That's critical for blocking interference from cell phones and other electronic devices. F-type connectors make a solid continuous 360 degree shield connection when screwed on. USB connectors can't match that level of shielding. In simple words, we're talking about an old infrastructure millions of devices, kilometers of cable in walls and streets, and countless equipment built around F-type connections. Replacing all of that would be a nightmare nobody wants to fund. This is where you learn the quote, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Especially when the fix costs billions and the current system still works perfectly fine.